One of the really nice things about being a bike YouTuber is that companies will just send me boxes of stuff to make videos about. Obviously we have two bikes here, but this, this is the real box. It could be anything. Let's get on with the unboxings. I should really invest in some box cutters. This is not safe. You might say it's reasonably dangerous. What is it? Is it, oh, it's a mess, that's what it is. Ugh. Who uses packing peanuts? Oh my gosh, those that's just all the packing peanuts on my floor. These are the Light and Motion Via Pro Combo Lights. They sent these over for me to review. Light and Motion saw my review of that other automatic light that was on Kickstarter. I, I totally forgot what it was called. Anyway, I really didn't like that light. These aren't really the sexiest lights in the world, but we'll see how these are. This was a mistake. These were some recycled packing peanuts. That might even be like a real peanut. Alrighty, so we've got our grease, our metric Allen keys, a 15 millimeter wrench, our trusty dusty scissors, and an old sock for a rag, along with our trusty track pump, and I think that's all we need to get this build on the road. Let's see if these staples are going to stab me like with the wobby. Oh, it is my blood. Yeah, it is your blood. It is my blood. Yep, that's a bike. Oh, it's heavier than I was expecting. Lawrence. Warning, user must read the entire manual and have the bicycle professionally assembled. Risers, man, there's so many bars in here, they must think I'm a rapper. So I thought that these drops were flared. It turns out they're not. Yeah, those are 100% bent. The drops are bent just a little bit. They're not perfectly straight. I'll give State a pass on this one because I asked for three different types of handlebars when most people would only get one. This thing was just sitting at the bottom of the box, just wrapped in a layer of plastic and in some brown paper. Kind of a bummer. Well, that's kind of nice. The risers have the locking grips, which is a nice bonus. Be careful, read the manual, blah, blah, blah. That's what I think about your manual. Gave a courtesy break, which looks pretty crummy, but it's better than riding brakeless. And some nifty cable guides. Hey, these are Welgo pedals. That's actually fine. That's a yikes. Oh, that's a yikes. The wheel is packed over the non-drive side crank arm, which is standard, but State wasn't really diligent in really securing this piece of cardboard down or using more protection, and so the spokes scratched the non-drive side crank arm. I call it a yikes. You might call it an oof. Either way, I'm not impressed with State's packing. But at any rate, let's go ahead and make our first upgrade. So long. Reflector. That's much nicer. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 32 spoke. These, this wheel does feel a bit on the heavier side, especially considering it's a box section wheel, but I did just build up a Wobby with sub 1500 gram wheels, so take that as you will. <gasps> Purple. Yeah, yeah, Loki. Hey, it's on the fixed side. That's how we do. I feel like I'm really nitpicking at this point, but I mean, that's kind of my job. I'm supposed to show off these things to you. But this feels like a lot of adhesive gunk and grease on the rear wheel because of how they packed it with cardboard and tape. This rear wheel is just the grimiest rear wheel I've seen for a bike that's out of the box, and it just makes me feel like State doesn't care about how they treat their bikes and the bikes that their customers get. I feel like I'm being harsh, but if I was a customer and if I spent $450 on this bike, I wouldn't be happy with that. Upgrade number two to this bike. I am fortunate enough that I live in California and I can just toss these valve caps away. Oh man. This thing's a 23C. 
Yeah, it's, it's been a while since I've ridden anything narrower than a 28. 100 PSI is probably fine. I'm so used to pumping up my 38C tires to like 30 in the front and 60 in the rear end. 100 feels like so much now, it's like... I feel like it's gonna pop or something. I know it's not, but I'm just not used to it anymore. I didn't want to be really negative. This was just supposed to be fun. The problem is, I found something that's just totally unacceptable. As you can see here on this down tube, there's a little dent in it. And again, if I was a customer paying $450 for this, that just doesn't fly. I will be contacting State, we'll see what they say and how well they take care of it, but just the fact that I even have to go through that process in the first place is a bit disappointing. It's really hard to say whether this little dent is from manufacturing or whether it's from shipping. My guess would be that it's from shipping, judging by how lacking the packaging was. I can deal with a grimy rear wheel. It's fine, you just clean it off. I can deal with blemishes in the paint. It's just cosmetic. But a dent out of the box, regardless of whether it's from manufacturing or shipping, that's a red flag to me. Again, I'll contact State and hopefully they can set this straight. It seems like a pretty decent bike overall for the money. And I will be doing a full review of this bike. Hopefully, State can set this straight. Alrighty, let's move past that and let's finish building this thing. This, this bike just, I, I just, I want to be positive about it, but I just keep finding stuff that isn't great. If this is supposed to be a brand new bike, then why is there like so much gunk inside the clamp of the stem? It's, it's, it's a bit frustrating. This was just supposed to be a, a fun build-up video, like with lots of other bikes that I've done. Things just keep popping up. And the last thing that we need to install are the pedals. Now, I don't have foot retention on these, but on the state black label that they shipped me, I asked to have some Odyssey pedals and hold fast straps, that's what they're called. So I will probably be reviewing the bike with those instead of these, but for now, let's throw them on. Oh my gosh, these bearings are stiff. I have mixed feelings about being able to install the pedal just by rotating the pedal. It's much more convenient, but I'm not sure how these will ride. This will probably loosen up over time. Loki! Loki, I'm, I'm doing things! <laughs> Get out of here! Get out of here, girl! Loki is my friend slash roommate's dog. She can be quite curious. Loki, do you like the bike? I'll take that as a yes. So the bike is together and everything seems to be in order. Something that I didn't do that you should 100% do is tighten your cog and lock ring. I just don't have the tools right now. And now that this thing is built up, oh my gosh, this thing really pops. I actually like this paint job a lot better than my All City Nature Boy. I thought that was sparkly purple. Nah, nah. This state bike is sparkly purple. And as my first impressions, that's something that state does really well. Customization and making a stock bike really your own. They've got a whole bunch of colors that you can't get anywhere else. I did get three different types of handlebars. I got bullhorns, drops, and risers, and you usually can't say that for a lot of other complete bikes at this price point. So I'm really excited to try this bike out. I'm sure State will set this right with all the shipping mishaps, and I'm really hoping that tomorrow when I build up the 6061 Black Label version 2, that bike won't have the problems that I've seen with this bike. That's a thirsty dog. Also, Loki seems to really like the paint job as well. She's chasing all the sparkles that she sees reflecting in the light, and as much as I would love to ride that bike right now, it is just way too dang hot. It's like 100 degrees right now. I'll see you in the morning.
Again, feel free to check out this limited edition t-shirt, well, there won't be any more after August 30th, at the link in the description. And Fixie Famous shoutouts to Mikey Sincox, Otzi Verto, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, Connor Kerrigan, Albert Wu, Marek Javecki, Robert Terpstra, Blue Tick, Hound, Duella Zero One, Evil Ernie, Mark Van Deventer, and Jazeel for making these fixed gear videos possible through their support on Patreon. If you haven't ridden your bike yet today, stop watching me right now and go out and ride your bike because life is short, but don't make it shorter, so ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous.